Welcome back everyone, it's a new day. Let's play some chess and try to get some elo. I'll go the standard opening so far. Nothing fancy here. Egypt. Uh, if he takes the knight, I'll open up the line for the queen. This is unprotected. I don't remember if I need to protect with the bishop. I want to say bishop so I can castle. And I can move my queen to e2 if I really need to. Go ahead and castle. I was going to go pin his knight, but that's okay. I wonder if I just go here, open up the G file for the queen. That is an idea. Hmm. It's definitely an idea. You know what? I wonder if this is a sacrifice worth making. It's really tempting. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can make this work. I think if I can get my queen onto g4, might have a chance. I know that may look a little bit strange, but... I know that may have been a strange play. A little risky, but I'm going to try it. I just want to try it. I know he's up a piece. I'm not going to play my usual way. Let's see, where do I go from here, though? Maybe I got a little too excited about this. Let's see, because all these squares are protected now. <clears throat> Maybe I did get a little overexcited here. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting him to go uh, b4 and attack the bishop there, but I guess I'll take the pawn. Oh, I actually do have a free knight here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a free knight. I forgot to realize that he just blocked um, the defender for his knight there. So I do have a free pawn, but I'd rather go for this. I think he'll be, I think he's going to move his knight 
either here or there, either f5 or d5. Okay. Yeah, I kind of expected that. really want to go for the trade. Oh, I see. So I kind of lose my knight either way here. I think I still come up ahead because if I trade queens, he's forced to take. Then I can take his knight, he'll take, and then I can take a pawn. So I think I come up ahead either way. Don't really have check. That's a bit unfortunate. If my bishop was on c4, it could have been a potential GG, but I'll just trade. Um, I think I'm going to come up ahead here anyway. Yeah, I think I just won some material that way, so. I do have check. Would have been nicer if I could check on D, what is it, D5 with the fork. Hmm. Wonder if there's any way that I can do have checks. So I could just, let's see. I can attack his rook next. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find like some of his hanging pieces. Let's see, what can I go after? This pawn here is his only hanging piece at the moment, and I can't attack it. I'll make an escape square for my king. Okay, I'm actually fine to trade here. Okay. Maybe I just trade rooks. Let's see. This piece is hanging, this pawn's hanging. So he has two hanging pawns. Hmm. I want to push a pawn, get it on the same color as the bishop, but I want to move my rook over here and just trade. So then if he were to take my pawn on a4, I can at least defend it. That might be one idea. I think I'll just go for rook trade. I'd like to get my rook on his back rank since I have this idea here with the bishop. Okay, I kind of expected that. So I'm expecting him to take his, the pawn here. I'll follow up with a uh, rook on his back rank. Okay, I think that was actually a good move by him. He got off of the light square, so probably a good move. Um, I'll fork his pawns here. I don't think he can defend these. I mean, he can defend with his rook one of them, but he can't defend both of them. So it's kind of just free. That pawn is defended. The... Which one's more important? I think I'll go for this one so I can push this pawn if I need to. What does he follow up with? I want to make sure to stay on green or dark squares too. Okay, I kind of saw that coming. Well, I do have check here. I can always move here too. Okay, 
I don't want to go there. Hmm. Uh, I think I just kind of worked myself into a pickle here. I do have check, but then he'll just take the rook. Hmm. Yeah, I think I worked myself into a little bit of a pickle here. Fair trade, I suppose. Then he snags a pawn. I can always defend it. Okay. I'm willing to trade here. I'm ahead, so whatever. This would be a bad trade. Um, this. Almost wins a pawn. Um, I'll protect. It's fine. Uh, free pawn here. Another free pawn. Um, Getting pretty close to check here, so um, I think I'll keep my rook on this file to pre prevent him from running away. Maybe I do have a passed pawn here. Maybe this is the play. No. How do I get a passed pawn going here? I think I can't go here. Maybe I just protect my pawn. I think I'll just go here and try to make a pass pawn. If I push that, maybe I'll just attack this. Hmm. He will win the pawn race. I don't know if that's the right move. I think I have to get rid of his pawn, or at least run up somehow. Mm. Yeah. I think I have to go this way. Um, I don't think that was the play. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a misplay on my on my part. He probably just moves here. Yeah. Oh, feels bad. Yeah, GG. GG, I played a little bit too slow there and I couldn't really find like um a really good advantage. I couldn't find a good position. So GG. Maybe he'll blunder, but I don't think so. Should probably go here. He needs to check me from behind. He has check here.
Maybe he blunders his queen. So it doesn't look like he knows how to do a uh, queen king checkmate, but that's okay. He's just gonna win on time. I'm trying to give it to him. I mean, all he has to do is just move his king towards mine, but whatever. Yeah, GG. Ahmed Rafat, good game. Ugh, what was my move there? I think I had a move, I just, just couldn't find it. Oh wow, so he just had the huge advantage there towards the end. Huh. I thought it was at least close. Let's see. He had one really good move. Yeah, so I suppose trading the rook here just wasn't the play, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think I should have gotten my king into the action a little bit sooner. So it looks like I had the advantage here and I just threw it away after this move. Hold on, hold on. I missed that. H4. So that was a mistake. So basically... Attacking his pawn, okay, was the move. So that was, yeah, he had basically two great moves here. And I had some misses, so. Let's see, king e3. Okay. So if I didn't move my king, he can go here. So this was basically a forced move. And then he gets to move. Okay. So let's see where it went wrong. So this, I still had the advantage here. What should I have done? Attacked his passed pawn. Okay. And then... I guess I don't quite follow why he wouldn't go c2. I don't really understand why the engine wants him to go b2. I mean, I feel like he just would have done this instinctively. Hmm. I guess I would have to move over, right? Because I think what I would want to do by instinct is just move here, but that's just checkmate. So let's see. So if he protected his pawn, Got to sneeze. Oops. I'd be forced to go g1. So that way, if he goes c1, I have to go h2. That's a forced move. And then where does he go? Just moves his king closer. Sure. Yeah, and then I could make a pass pawn probably at this point. So, okay. So another one of these games where I had an advantage. And it kind of just went down the toilet because of one mistake, of one bad move. So another learning experience, but it's all good. Um, GG, Ahmad Rafat, and uh, see you guys in the next game.